And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the 80-pound division for 12 and 13-year-olds. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he's wearing the zebra trunks. He's a two-time junior Olympian, hailing from the city so nice they had to name it twice. New York, New York, Brooklyn's in the house. Please welcome Saddam Ali. And his opponent out of the red corner, he's wearing this red trunks with silver trim. He is a five-time Golden Gloves champion, ranked number two in the nation, from right here in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. He goes by the name Little Sweet G. Gary Russell, Jr. <laughs> round one is a three, one-minute rounds here. Saddam Ali in the very flashy Tiger Trunks. And Little Sweet G, Gary Russell Jr. He's in the red trunks. And speaking of flashy, I mean, that, that's something that uh, I saw coming in, came in with a robe that matched his trunks. And I see <laughs> Sweet G with the little uh, trunks that look like, uh, like the professionals that Sean Bay wears and everything. I mean, I never thought of anything like that in the amateurs. I mean, these guys are very confident in their ability, and they've been winning numerous tournaments, come out here and dress the way they dress. And if, they, if I'm correct, my memory serves me correct. Sweet G, I think, is the brother of Gary as the professional that can box very, very well. Uh, Gary Jones. Uh, Fast head sure. Jones. Okay. Yeah, Fast I'm not Jones. sure. Okay, we'll check on that. Now we got standing eight count as Gary Russell Lays punches on Saddam Ali and referee William Johnson. Give him standing eight. That's the first standing eight we've had in this con in these contests today. And Gary Russell definitely put on the level. That ends round one, a good round definitely for Gary Russell Jr. Think about that. Even though he got a standing eight count, that only counts for one point in the amateur. Mm -hmm. and, and the professionals, you get a standing eight count, a uh, knockdown or something, it counts for a 10 8 round. Right. Uh, and the amateurs, it counts for one point. You know, so, so that's the difference in the amateur ranks and then and the professional ranks. And I guess that also encourages the use of that, that particular thing as we look at Sean Ray Mitchell here in the audience, uh, among, among the dignitaries that are here tonight. Uh, it, it, it kind of encourages uh, the use of, the, of that in the amateurs because you're not going to hurt the fighter on the amateur side by making use of it as much as you would on the pro side. Yeah. Good round indeed for Gary Russell Jr., five-time Golden Gloves champion out of Washington, D.C. Here we go, round two. Again, three one-minute rounds here in this it is eighth bracket. And we're in the 80-pound class here. And I noticed something about Gary, how he's holding his hands. Uh, it's kind of like the international style where you see mo most of the European fighters have their hands up there mm -hmm. in the air like that. And I right. remember as, a, as an amateur, one fighter that I fought had his hands up like that, and I paid attention to his hands being up like that, and I got attacked quite often. That was Floyd Favors. <laughs> oh, a beautiful left hand by Gary Russell. And that sort of made Ali stumble a little bit. And Russell's really making good use of that straight left hand there. He's found a home for it, and he's going to obviously keep going to it unless uh, Ali can find some way to, to uh, 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 get out of it. And he just made Ali stumble with some good foot movement. And fans enjoy that here. In this second round, I think we hear this kid here has a bright future if he continues to be a part of the game and stay true to the game like he is right now. He has a bright future. And that ends round two. Another solid round for Gary Russell Jr. Again, yeah, you look at the technique and what's being taught in these gyms. It, it seems to be just just amazing what's going on in these gyms around this country. Once again, the, this bout, these cards under the, the production of Hobo Shop, helping our brothers out, and Cash Flow Productions. Of course, Hobo Shop has two locations, one in D.C., one in Baltimore, and they have clothing for all types, men, women, and kids, and you've seen some of our great boxers around the Washington, Baltimore area wear their outfits, including the heavyweight champion in the world, Haseem Rockman, former two-time uh, middleweight champion in the world, William Joppy, and the former junior welterweight champion, WBA junior welterweight champion in the world, Sean Bay Mitchell. Also, I thank our sponsor, Magnolia Coach Limousine, 
And throughout the night, you'll see our ring card girls, and they are wearing hobo clothing. And for more information on the hobo shop, you go to www.hoboshop.com. And also, you can get video from that website as well as Platinum Gloves. Dr. Invitational. Final round here as Gary Russell Jr. taking on Saddam Ali. Saddam Ali out of Brooklyn, New York. And Gary Russell Jr. out of D.C. And Saddam is throwing that good straight right hand. I mean, he's coming back here and showing that he has heart. He's not been, you know, deterred by what Gary has done to him early in the fight. And that's what it takes to be a top competitor. So, yeah, combination. I like the way Russell's using that left hand. There's no doubt about it. He's got tremendous timing for a young fighter. I mean, he just seems to have a, a good sense about when to let that left hand go. And he just, he's just showing savvy way beyond his years at this point. And Ali sent rushing again. You talk about the timing. Russell caught him with the right hand as Ali rushed in. And then he showed a good professional move of a spin move to get out of the way to have the guy standing up against the rules by himself right there. And that is the end of the bout. Another solid belt for both Gary Russell Jr. and Saddam Ali. Little Sweet G out of Washington, D.C., five-time Golden Glove champion. I think we got a good idea of why he is a five-time Golden Glove champion. Sure, it's just uh, Jones gives a decision. The winner for the 2001 Platinum Gloves Invitational for the 80-pound class comes of the red corner. Little Sweet G, Gary Russell Jr. And Gary Russell Jr. showing a lot of flash with the backflip. A la Jorge Paez and Nassim Ahmed. So I think he's been some around some pro people over the years. Very much so. And I'm, I was a gymnast at one time. He showed very good form. The height was good and, and the tuck was tucked very well Saddam as well. Ali. Uh, I remember days that I, I wanted to try that, but I didn't think I, you know, uh, had enough to do that uh, after a fight. Back with more from the Washington Adventure Center in a moment. Stay with us. Since he's up here, certainly we got to give credit and comps and kudos to the gentleman who we believe and we know will be champion once again, the former WBA junior welterweight champion of the world, Sean Bay, little big man Mitchell. We saw yet another young man who may have a bright future in this sport down the road, Gary Russell Jr., winner in this bout, in his last bout here on the Platinum Gloves Invitational at the Washington Avengers Center. Congratulations. Tough, great bout. Uh, like you, want, you knew what you wanted to do early in this bout. Was that true? Yes. What did, you, what, what did you want to do in this bout? Let me ask you that. Well, I really wanted to dominate the fight, but actually, I tried my best and tried to do my hardest. I give him this all because he's a good fighter, and I say, Thanks. Good fight for Saddam Ali. And you've come from great bloodlines. His brother's a, a very promising uh, junior middleweight by the name of Gary Fast Hands Jones, as Vince Petway said. And have you learned a lot from your brother as far as boxing is concerned? How much, we, how much have you learned from him? Well, I learned a lot from my brother because we train together in the gym. When I do stuff wrong in the gym, he gets on me a lot. Most of the time when I'm overweight in my fights, my brother makes me stay over his house, stay the night so I can watch my weight. So i like to thank my brother, too, and my father, because he's a great coach to me. Yes. Congratulations. Gary Russell, Jr., interviewed by Gary Russell Williams here at the Hobo Shop Platinum Gloves Invitational. Congratulations, Gary. Appreciate it.